What's up, everybody? This is Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Whoa, whoa, I got to sit back because you can't see my... Look at this. Dude, come on. <clears throat> this hair even works with crappy um, gel. Like, every once in a while, I'll pull a good gel out, but even with just bad gel that I get, like, for Christmas presents, it works. It's awesome. I'm awesome. All right, so going to go over some more questions from the ask me a question thing that I did on Instagram. Like, it seems like it was last week, but it might have been two weeks ago. So anyway, this is from Tom Lennox. I want to go over some things in a little bit more detail because it's it's you can't even pass any information back to the person. It's ridiculous. What would you say is the most important exercise to build a well-rounded, strong grip? Well, there's no one exercise, but um, I'll give you something that I think will probably help just about everybody, and that's thick bar training. Um, block weights would have been my question, or my answer, my standard answer before, but I think that I'm seeing like better results from thick bar training across the board uh, lately. So maybe it's just what I'm, what's working well for me right now, but. Thick bar, definitely not grippers, definitely not sledgehammer stuff. Um, thick bar stuff, without a doubt, would be what I would say um, a go-to for that one. All right, any feats in your head you want to pull off soon? This is from your friend Fuller on Instagram. Incidentally, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at jed.diesel, J-E-D-D dot D-I-E-S-E-L. So any feats in my head I want to pull off soon? Yeah, um, I wanted to be the first one that got double 225 kilo plates, but Jesse Pinnonen ended up getting it first. Um, and I would have liked to have farmers walked 225 kilo plates, but Jesse Pinnonen did it first, including holding on to an inch dumbbell in the other hand. So... Um, I think, uh, one of the next things I want to do is definitely that double 225 kilo pinch. Um, I really appreciate Chris Andrade letting me borrow his 225s for a long time. It was probably a year or more that he let me borrow those. Just gave them back at, uh, King Kong. So the next chance that I'm going to get right now to... The, to be able to try to pull that off is at Gripmas on December 7th, I believe, at his gym in Connecticut. So I'll be training pretty hard for that in addition to the rest of the training that I'll be doing. So that's the main thing. Um, other stuff, other feats. You know, I'll be definitely working on block weights to work on the, the half 145 and half 150 legacy blobs. Um, other feats. I would like to make my uh, lifting the the my homicide bell, which weighs 187 pounds with a 2.59 inch inch handle. I'd like to make that something I can do all the time. I did that in like March earlier this year, guys, and I haven't done it since. I don't know what the deal is, but um, I guess I was peaked and was able to do it, and then kind of lost my peak on that. So, I'd like to get back to that. Um, all right, next question. This is from Ramire, Ramir, Romir Eats, Romir Lifts. That's what it is. How long will it take to deadlift three plates, no straps, double overhand, using red fat grips? Man, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, hand size is going to be huge with that one. Because those red fat grips are big. I think they're like two and three quarters inches when they're snapped onto a, a barbell. And if your barbell is a little bit thicker, then they're even a little bit larger. To give you an idea, on the 140, on the, on the, the 140 pound York dumbbells that I have, when I put the red fat grips on there, I can't even do like a double dumbbell lift. I, I can't do that. Not very easy anyway. Like it's easier to lift inches. It's easier to lift double inch dumbbells than it is to do the 140s with the red fat grips on there. So it depends on where you're at right now, man. It depends on 
how much time you can devote to training to that, how much you're able to specifically train on that feet. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into that, so it's hard to say. So let's go on to the next one. How do you train to lift an inch dumbbell? This is from Daniel underscore K underscore AUS underscore B. How do, you, how do you train to lift an inch dumbbell? I'm going to tell you exactly what I did, and, and this, this worked perfectly fine for me. And I don't know why more people don't say this. Um, it, it just, I don't know why, but I guess they don't, they don't try it because they, they try what everybody else suggests. But this is exactly what I did. I trained, or I, I attempted an inch dumbbell in September of 2003. And failed. Um, I attempted the same inch dumbbell in April of 2004 and failed. So somewhere along those lines, I took a PVC pipe that's like inch and a quarter. Um, and then I wrapped duct tape around it. So I took, so I took the, all I've got is, I'll, I'll use this. This is a bottle of Biofreeze. So I took in the very center I took duct tape, I wrapped it around maybe 10 times. I went one to my left, one to my right, 10 times here, 10 times there. 10 times in the center, 10 times here, 10 times there. So I ended up making a thick handled dumbbell that was slightly thicker than the inch dumbbell. Now people when I was doing this said, oh, it's going to be too spongy when you do it. Well, what I found out was what they were doing is they were just taking the tape like this. <laughs> what I did is I made it exactly the same width. And if I got off center at all, or if it looked like crap at all, then I, I totally ripped that piece off and it was perfect. It was perfect guys. Perfectly even. It ended up a little bit thicker than the inch dumbbell handle. And I just used it as a plate loadable dumbbell. And I made sure not to ever brace my forearms against the plates and tried to keep it as level as I could at all times with um so that with duct tape the handle ended up being very very slippery so if I used any chalk at all I used a very very small amount small amount just to keep moisture from accumulating on my hands and that gave me a nice good grip on the the duct tape handle and so from April of 2004, here comes September of 2004. Um, so it's a year since September 2003 when I first tried it. Um, my The guy that owned that inch dumbbell, Rick Walker, sold me it. Sold me the inch dumbbell in November. Okay, So I had failed basically um, three times over the span of a year. And then in November, I bought that inch dumbbell. So all this time... I was working with that plate loadable dumbbell. Um, when I got it in November, I was lifting it by January. That's all, that's really all I did was the plate loadable dumbbell and then the inch dumbbell itself. And I was able to lift it within two months. So I can't really, I can't put enough emphasis on how important it is to actually own an inch dumbbell to work with. A lot of the stuff that's out there is not going to do anything for you. Well, I shouldn't say it's not going to do anything for you. It's just not going to work that well. Like the Rolling Thunder, the thing that is touted as being the best thing to train with for inch dumbbell, it's not. It's like one of the worst. It's it's one of the worst, guys. Um, I think that plate loadable dumbbells are the best because you're pulling from almost exactly the same height. So as long as you lift it level as you try to deadlift it, then it's a, it's a great way to train. If you're, if you're angling it or if you're bracing it against your arm, it's going to be way easier. And then you're going to be wasting your time just, just as much as uh, anything else. But it, it worked out great for me. It was a, I was able to bring my lift up to, I think, either 160 or 165 pounds on that thing. As you know, the, 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 uh, the inch dumbbell is 17. Well, the one that I bought is actually 169, but... Um, Usually they're 172 pounds or so. Uh, and that was enough for me to be able to lift it. So that's that's what I would suggest if you don't have an inch. My first recommendation, buy an inch dumbbell. You don't have one, plate loadable dumbbell, and you can make your own. 
and um, I think it's going to work out just great. If you want more information on that, I have a whole DVD dedicated to inch dumbbell training. So um, you can check out the description box and it'll be down there. But other than that, I think that's that's good for now. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, guys. A big one. A big thumbs up. Um, if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section because I'm going to be doing another 30 days of Q&A during December where I'm going to knock out a bunch of these and they're going to be coming out every single day. So you'll also want to subscribe so you don't miss any of these. Make sure to hit the bell so that you get a notification on your either mobile device or in your email, whatever you want. And you'll know every time a new video comes out. And uh, by all means, share it with your friends, everybody. Because you know, the first rule in grip sport is you tell everyone about grip sport. All the best in your training, everybody. Take care.